Hello. So this week we are going to spend our time in class and out of class talking about structure and organization. And one of the key components of the foundations unit is to really hone in um, how to structure and organize our, our essays and our writing. So with most academic writing, most academic essays, they usually have the following structure. They have introductions, body paragraphs, followed by a conclusion. And how these paragraphs are organized depends on your main ideas and your content. So let's look at uh, the various types of paragraphs that make up your your structure of your paper and the first thing that i want to talk about obviously the first is the the introduction and some people uh, myself included think that introductions are the hardest part because it means starting and the question is well where do i start and that's sometimes a tricky question but the introduction is really important because that's where your reader begins right and that is going to offer a first impression for your reader introductions help create a context for your essay and importantly it helps situate your thesis and we'll talk about thesis statements when we are together collectively in class your introductions are important because they help define the scope and focus of your essay as well as express the value or the so what of your argument and this is tied directly to um, your thesis statement so there are three parts um, of an introduction and the first is you guys have heard it called the hook right um, the the first thing to do is to grab your readers attention the second part of an introduction is to narrow the topic and otherwise in other words you want to provide specific information to orient the reader with the context of your paper what information do i need to provide them to kind of create this this scope or this focus and finally it's going to present your thesis statement and your thesis statement for me i know it depends largely on you know the instructor or um, the type of paper where you want to situate your thesis but for me in my class I would like for you to place your thesis statement at the end of your introduction so it's the last sentence of your introduction well how do I do all of this well the first thing that you want to think about is your word choice you want to establish an engaging yet authoritative tone you also could and should define specific terms that are central to your argument or analysis. And that goes back to creating a specific context for your paper. Some other options that you could, you could include or choose to employ would be to maybe discuss a controversial um, element that your argument engages. You could challenge a well-known idea. You could provide an anecdote. There's no right or wrong way to begin your introduction, right? But you wanna think about your purpose and your goal of the assignment. I know I'm skipping around a little bit, but I, I wanna talk First, before I talk about body paragraphs, to talk about your conclusion. And just like your introduction offers first impressions, your conclusion is kind of the lasting impression. Think about it this way. If I were to send you guys on a speed date, uh, you guys know what I'm talking about when I say speed dating, right? Where you meet a whole bunch of people and you talk to them for five minutes and then you move to the next and so on and so forth. Well, who are you most likely going to remember? probably your first your first date and your last date. So think about that when you're you're thinking about the construction of your paper where your introduction gives the first impression it tells your reader where you're going to go your conclusion explains the journey in other words it reminds your reader of what's been said what's been said 
and also it helps provide a larger context. There are a couple of different ways that you can go about creating your conclusion. And that would be to kind of place the essay in a larger context of the subject or discipline. You could raise questions to complicate your issue. You could indicate how your argument or analysis challenges prevailing ideas or new framework um, or a new framework of an issue. You always want to make sure that you explain the implication of your analysis. In other words, make sure you really bring home why it matters, why we should care about the topic that you've spent all of this time exploring. You also could use terms and phrases from the introduction to parallel that structure. But the one thing that I encourage you not to do is include or introduce new information in your conclusion. If it wasn't important enough to discuss in the body of your paper, it doesn't need to be in your conclusion. So that's introductions and conclusions. I am going to stop my little video here and I'm going to pick up with the meat and potatoes of your essay, The Body Paragraphs.